Panda Landers, guess what? It's that time of year that it's the holiday season. Today we're going to be building Santa's house or Santa's cabin. I'm first starting out with the roofing and the exterior over here I'm adding in these flat stairs which will give shape to the roof. Then I'm going on to the second floor and adding the top of the roof and we will keep extending the house when we add rooms and so on. Now we're going to be coloring the outside wood color to match the cabin look that Santa's home has. And now in the front we're going to be adding in some decorations. I also put in these pillars to round off the points and edges on the wall in the front. Now we're going to be moving on to the back and adding in the inside wall to make the kitchen. Over here, as soon as you walk in, on your right will be the kitchen along with the counter where you bake cookies and just have some Christmas fun. From what I think Santa's house looks like, I feel like there's a lot of these red colored patterns on the walls along with lots of wood, so I just decided to color most of the things in the house wood, red, green, and so on. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. And now I'm going to be putting in some accessories and objects which you can find in a kitchen. Being fully honest, I didn't know how obsessed I would actually be with the Christmas decorations and how much I missed actually placing them down. There were lots of Christmas trees in this build that I put in. And <laughs> because they're plants, I am absolutely in love with the decorations because they look super realistic and give so much different color and fun looking ways into the build. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a singing, six geese a laying, five golden.
Over here, I decided to delete the wall and add in like an open door without having doors like a doorway. Then I decided to put in these counters because it would look even better in my opinion. And then I would just add a dining room table in a separate room. We finished with the kitchen, now I'm going to be extending and adding in areas, seeing where I want the living room and the rest of the rooms for the house. Over here, I decided I wanted to build a staircase which would go up on a slant, so I'm using tables to place at the bottom stairs and give it an angled type of look. Now, if you have a clumsy child in a role play, you may want to add in these secured fences that I'm putting in. I used a smaller fence, then a bush, then a wall to finish it off, and it looks like it's building up as it go. And to blend everything in, I added in these big pillars to make it look like the staircase is being supported by something and the ceiling won't crash down falling because of that. Honestly, the biggest factor that I wanted in this house was a fireplace right as you walked in so you could feel like it's the holiday season. So I just added a fireplace here. To do this fireplace, you do need advanced placement because I kind of did stick the fireplace through the pillars for it not to stick out so much and actually have room for a living room. also need a Christmas tree to add in the presents right next to the fireplace so to fit it all in I decided to add this mini Christmas tree with lots of presents surrounding it and some toys. Now I'm going to be putting in a rocking chair and a couch. It was limited space so it took me a while to play around with the chairs and see where they would fit best. As you will see, I play around with them as I go throughout the build. Oh,
since we are technically done with the living room, this is where I decided to put in the dining room of the house. So I'm going to be making an entrance and there's going to be a dining room table with few decorations and lots of windows. I also wanted the flooring in this room to be a bit different, so I decided to use some carpet. Over here I decided to add in some bushes to outline the house. I later figure on that some of the places which I put it didn't look quite as good so I decided to delete some of them but I also keep some of them in the rooms. It just depended how it looked like. And now we're going to the top floor, the second floor. This is going to be where Santa's workshop is with all the toys, all the letters, and where the elves can help out to make the presents and decorate. First we're starting out with Santa's desk area because he needs one to work and read all the cards that the kids sent to him. So I'm going to be making that now.
Over here, I'll be adding tons of toys, books, and different things, anything you can imagine toy-like for a kid, because this is going to be one of the bookshelves filled with toys where Santa stores what he may wrap for a gift. Have you ever heard of Santa going down the chimney? Well, he needs a chimney himself, doesn't he? So I decided to put that inside the roof and add some fog for like smoke coming out of the fireplace. here I'm going to be adding in some touches like a roof, coloring in the windows, the flooring, and more. On this wall to make it less plain, I'm going to be adding in tons of shelves which is going to be covered in newspapers resembling letters and some more toys. While editing, I just realized that I didn't record me building the outlines of these rooms, which is going to turn out to be the elf's bedroom, Santa's and Mrs. Claus's bedroom, and also a bathroom. 
So I am sorry about that. Over here I'm decorating and building Santa's and Mrs. Claus's bedroom and then we will move on to the decorating. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Next, we are going to be moving on to the bathroom. Hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a singing, six geese a laying five golden rings. Calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a lake, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. bedroom and the bathroom is semi done I'm going to be adding in a hallway which will be leading to each of these things and also the elf's bedroom decided to add in two bunk beds which give four beds for four different elves and now I'm going to be coloring while decorating their bedroom.
And over here, since it was open space, I decided to make a mini closet, which someone could use to change quickly if they need it. Being fully honest, I didn't know what I was going to do to decorate this hallway. Thank you so much for the people who are waiting outside watching me build for all the help. I asked them for suggestions on different types of colors to use, on what to put in the hallway, because I didn't want it to be looking plain, and that helped a lot. Huge shout out to all these people who gave me random colors at the speed of light and I had so many different colors to choose from, easily making me able to color all these presents. People were also telling me to add in plants, so that's what I did over here. Plant overload a bit? Uh, nah, I don't think so. And you will see that over here, the circular ID code that I placed down will later turn into a code of a clock, which looked super great and perfect for this house. And now, outside of every single doorway, I decided to add in carpets in detail because I felt like it looked good. Finally, it's time to brighten up the place with some lights. And finally, one of my favorite things is to do the outside decor. We are going to be first starting out with the pathway. I also thought the idea of adding in these mud piles, which we could turn into snow piles. And also, you couldn't go wrong with some pine trees. I colored in different shades of green and white to make it look like it had a frosty little coat of snow. We
And to finish off the build, I'm outlining the pathway with some fencing, which I will color it white to make it look like snow and add in some more splots of mud. And we are done. Let's go into the tour. A huge thank you to everyone who dressed up just for this tour. It was amazing. Happy holidays from me and my elves. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!